You're going to hear something today that some of you might never have ever heard before. For example, I've met people in this world who actually believe, now you've got to listen to this, who actually believe that when a person dies that they are dead. Now some of you may not believe that. But God is going to change your mind. There is not one single person who has ever died that's dead. Everyone who's died is still alive. Now that may shock some of you today, but I'm going to give you convincing proof. I'm going to give you some great news. <laughs> some of you are going to look at me today and say, Pastor, wait a minute now. What do you mean? I have a wife, I have a mother, I have a son, I have a daughter, I have a friend who died, and they're not here. They did. We buried them, and our hearts are empty. Absolutely. They're not with us. They're not alive on this earth, but they're alive. They're not dead. There's not a single person ever who's ever died that is dead. Death is not an escape. I've even heard some very fine people say, well, at least he's at peace now. Well, such and such a person doesn't have to deal with life anymore. I just want to show you, just have a look at this with me for a second. We just watch this, okay? Acts chapter 1, and let's just look at verse 3 to begin with. Everybody, I want you to look at this because I really don't want you to think for one minute that this is something that your pastor is saying. In fact, I'm also going to tell you today that I promise you, my friends, that I, there's so much about this that I grapple with. By the way, I want to encourage you to get a book that I wrote. I wrote it. It's called The Absolute Certainty of Life After Death. It's a novel. If you don't have that book, go to theencouragingword.org and click on that and get that book today. I wrote it. It's a novel. Just read it. It's a story. It's based on a story that Jesus told. But it's a story about two men who lived and died but never died, according to what Jesus said. The absolute certainty of life after death. Call the church and we'll get you a copy. And if you get it and read it, give it to somebody else. There are hundreds of people around the country that are giving their hearts and lives to Jesus when they read the absolute certainty of life after death. We hear from them. It's wonderful. Because there is incredible good news in this, folks. I want you to know that you've got nothing to fear from death. Nothing. I'm going to give you convincing proof. Just if you would have a look at this with me, Acts chapter 1 and verse 3, after his suffering, that's after Jesus went to the cross, after his suffering, Jesus showed himself to these men, and he gave many convincing proofs. What's the next phrase? Someone tell me. 
What is the next phrase there? Come on, someone, look at it. That he was alive. Let's all say that together. That he was alive. Say it again. That he was alive. That's what I want to speak to you about. Now, everybody with your Bibles, I want you to turn back to Luke. We're going to the end of Luke, okay? Let's just pick on Luke 24. Just turn back to Luke 24. Seeing that Luke wrote Acts, let's go back to the former book that he talks about in chapter 1 and verse 1. He says in book of Acts chapter 1 verse 1, he says, in my former book. We're going back to that former book. What Luke wrote. And if you go back to Luke chapter 24, Luke chapter 24 tells the incredible account of when Jesus rose from the dead. That's what we celebrate at Easter time, the resurrection of Christ. And Jesus came back from the dead. He died on the cross, gave his life for you and for me. He conquered sin and death in the grave, and on the third day, God, by His power, raised Jesus from the dead. That's the resurrection. In fact, you cannot, watch this, you cannot have eternal life. You cannot be a Christian. You cannot be born again. You cannot be forgiven of your sin unless you are convinced that you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. If you don't believe that, you're not a Christian. Now, Paul said that in Romans 10, 9 and 10. He said, unless you are absolutely convinced, you believe by faith that Jesus is alive, That's the second of the fundamental arms of our Christian faith, the resurrection of Jesus. 